They also, you have also learned the art of writing questions from Mr. Bashir Hayat. Bashir Hayat. Hazur, aapke sanad bolan mushkil hai to sochne ke liye. In order to preach to Christian, MDs invite them to their mosques or homes, and sometimes those Christians invite them to their churches. While they are praying, sometimes they stand and sometimes they sit. Should an MD also stand while they are pr praying and standing? <coughs> it all depends on uh, what is the significance of that posture. If they are worshiping. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, as son of God, and this is a sort of homage to him, which they give him while standing. Then it is positively forbidden. No question of you are participating in it, whatever they may think. And in that case, you better tell him before you go there that this is my religion. I will not permit my religion to be interfered with. Otherwise, I will, of course, offer you full respect in every other way. But apart from that, any homage paid to God Almighty alone can be shared. This is the significance of Taala or Ilakalimat in Swain Bana Nava Banakum. If the Holy Quran tells Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu to invite them to this common factor, that means if they invite you, you should also respond in the same manner. So. As far as the worship of God is concerned, that fundamental, central, significant factor, worship of God, is a common property of all mankind, yes. and that can be shared. Exactly. Yes, please. Hazur, uh, our uh, Christian friends, they believe that uh, by accepting Jesus Christ for a Savior, they are ensured a place in heaven. And they also say that you Muslims <coughs> have no such insurance or assurance from anybody. So, what uh, can we answer about it? Because they don't have any insurance or assurance but, either. But they claim they have. Huh? They, they may claim, but some Muslims also claim that when we believe in some, even not even ours, in some ordinary people, they say then we are forgiven. So, what of claims? You can't judge serious matters of life just by comparing claims, and for such a claim, which is so important to us, for our life to come, there has to be some cogent, palpable proof. But there, there are some uh, sayings of Jesus Christ in the Holy Bible. Uh, Which are they? Uh, for instance, I am the way and I am the but life. That is everywhere common. In every religion, this sentence is found either together or separately. It is only the interpretation of it which uh, uh, gives a wrong significance to it, according to them. The fact is that what is Sirat al Mustaqeen? The way. Ahadur Sallallahu is declared as Vasila in the Holy Quran. What is that? A way. So, I am the way is also the claim of Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu and this is the way. In fact, every prophet comes to call people to some way. And when the, a prophet says, I am the way, that means that you can reach your God through me, that is following me. This is the common sense, I mean, the, the, the sensible interpretation of this. So, every, any other sense, interpretation which is not sensible and which does not, uh, have uh, fall into step with the such with such declarations made in other religions will not be acceptable because if this explanation which they gave is correct then in every religion you will have to accept the same explanation so in that case it will not be 
a, a, a singular claim made by Christianity alone. It would be a common claim made by every religion. Yeah, but in, in, in their case, that claim is made by the Son of God Himself. Huh? That claim, according to the Christians, is made by the Son of God no, Himself. No, that is not the point. This is how they prove that He is Son of God. That is a different question that you can handle separately. There are so many so-called sons mentioned in the Bible, not only Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, so many others you should remember. Isaac is declared to be the one and the only son, the first begotten, in fact. And so are others who are declared as first begotten. So how many sons would they believe? Well, according to the Bible, every person living here is son of God. Yes? Yeah. You know that? So why are you asking? <laughs> no, I, no, what I was saying is that according to... Children of Israel, what yes. is children? Sons and daughters. Yes. And also... All the sinners. Also, you, in the, the son of Adam, who was expelled, I mean, excommunicated and sent out, <coughs> Read that chapter where sons of God are told to be, to marrying <coughs> daughters of, of men. So that is... Uh, no, no, sir, what I meant was that uh, the Christian claims that because this claim is made by the Son of God Himself, so it is no, more No, this is not what they say. This is what you are saying. I have discussed this with them. They never say this. They don't know what our answer will be. They think that they have come out with something so singular that no person would have an answer to it. So if we tell them that this is the explanation and this is something <coughs> common, nothing to be proud of, they, they are generally non -plus. So that claim first is to be verified. If, if anybody, if your friend has come out with the same answer, which I doubt, then you can always fight the battle on this ground. And for that you have, you are uh, well armed, of course. As you, you yourself mentioned, every human being then turns out to be son or daughter of God. Or even of God. Yes. Thank you very much. <coughs> Any other question, please? Yes, please. <coughs> so, what is the significance of Farik Leet in Islamic terminology? Huh? What is the significance of Farik Leet in Islamic uh, terminology? Farik Leet uh, is in fact the Prophet Ahmad. That is the name given to Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu initially and uh, from him and through him it is given to Hazrat Masih Mustafa Not directly. Uh, uh, but what is it that you want to know about? I, it? Want, to, I want to just that you already know give about? my observation that uh, in one of the books I read uh, yes. that uh, Paraklit is a Greek word and uh, it is wrongly interpreted as Paraklit. It is Actually, it is Paraklitos, and Paraklitos means the praised one. Yes. And the praised one is Muhammad. <coughs> no, but Farklit is translated as Ahmad, not as Muhammad. The praised one means what? Ahmad no, no, but I don't know whether, whether you search is right or wrong. That has to be seen first of all. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but the point is normally this is considered and uh, this has uh, logic in it that the Old Testament uh, prophecy for Ahadu in the name of Muhammad, yeah. Muhammadin. Yeah, Muhammadin. And uh, the New Testament uh, prophecy for his coming in the name of Ahmad. And there is a <coughs> reference in the Holy Quran in Surah Saf, which